Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joseph Hughes. Thank you for watching this video. As many of you know, if you've watched any of my videos, or if you're familiar with me as a person, you know I'm a curious guy. That I, I kind of like uh, you know, pseudo-intellectual things, you know, not to be pretentious or anything. Uh, I'm a little bit educated. I know a little bit about a wide range of things. And uh, this video is about William Shakespeare. You know, uh, recently I've become aware of the Shakespeare authorship question. And... Uh, this really piqued my interest. Uh, you know, I was in a hotel room. My job, uh, you know, has me traveling occasionally. And I was in my hotel room and I was looking up William Shakespeare on uh, on YouTube because I just wanted to watch something about uh, William Shakespeare. And all this stuff came up about the authorship question. And the premise is that some people think that William Shakespeare did not write the, tr the plays and the sonnets attributed to him. So... And I thought, yeah, that's crazy. William Shakespeare it didn't write the plays. So I watched some of these videos, and I've ordered a couple books, and I, I, I've read these books, and I'm going to do a review on each one of these books, two different books. Okay, now, uh, first one I'm going to do is called Shakespeare Identified in Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. Okay, this is a book written in 1920 by a gentleman of the, by the name of J. Thomas Looney. Okay, actually his name is pronounced Loney L. O O N E Y. Okay, it's spelled loony. So I imagine some people kind of play on that name. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do this one, and there's another book here: Shakespeare's Unorthodox Biography: New Evidence of an Authorship Problem, written by Diana Price. Okay, I'm going to do her, uh, you know, the review of this book tomorrow, and today I'm going to do J. Thomas Loney's. Uh, Shakespeare identified Edward in Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. And now this book right here is as actually a landmark book, okay? Uh, in 1920, okay, think of this. The world was introduced to William Shakespeare for the first time, okay? Now, okay, now of course that is assuming a couple things. Number one, okay, there's always a premise for any book. Okay, there's always a reason for its existence, and for about a hundred years, maybe 125, 150 years uh, previous to uh, Edward Loney writing this book, there were a lot of people starting to question whether William Shakespeare wrote the plays attributed to him. Okay, now this was based basically on the idea that the plays uh, displayed a level of education, a familiarity with uh, medical practices, a familiarity with law practices, a familiarity with the continent of, or the country of Italy, uh, a familiarity with the Elizabethan court that a lot of people could not reconcile with the man William Shakespeare. Now, William Shakespeare was a commoner. He never left England. There's no documented evidence that he ever attended any school in, at all, ever. Uh, he wasn't an educated man, not in a traditional sense. And some people looked at it and said, there's no way in the world this commoner with no education, no world experiences, never left England, uh, no way in the world he could have written this play. So what the, a lot of people were doing is they were, they were coming up with different uh, authors as candidates. And the main candidate in those days was a man by the name of Sir Francis Bacon. And... Unfortunately, uh, they were using a really unsound methods of investigation in order to try to line up this guy, Sir Francis Bacon, with the Shakespeare plays. Basically, they were looking for cryptograms, they were looking for codes, looking for all kinds of crazy schemes in the plays that would somehow align Sir Francis Bacon with, uh, with the, the plays of William Shakespeare. So this guy, J. Thomas Loney, and, and this is all in the book, he said, you know, we need a, a more sound method of investigation. We need a scientific method of investigation. And what he did was he, he created a personality uh, profile for an author who would uh, most likely have been the person to have written the plays. Okay? And he, he built a profile based on uh, what kind of education the, per the person would have needed, uh, what kind of uh, traveling experiences they would have needed, what kind of education, so, and you know, their, their, their access to the Elizabethan court seemed that, feel like the writer was very familiar with the inner workings of the, of the British government at the time. And so he built this elaborate and rather extensive profile of a person who would have had 
uh, the types of experiences necessary to write the plays as they are as they are expressed in those plays. And then he went out on a search to find people who would fit that profile. And he came up with one person. Uh, that one person was the man, Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford. Okay? Now, it, you know, like I said, this book should be placed in league with things like the moon landing, uh, with Columbus finding uh, America for Europeans. Uh, this literally is a landmark book that introduces William Shakespeare as a, Edward de Vere for the first time in history. And he goes through it, he lines it up, he shows it, everything you can imagine, and it is very clear that Edward de Vere is William Shakespeare. Now, I know many of you are very skeptical. Uh, you know, the 1580s, 1590s, uh, 1600s, you know, even all the way back to the 1560s, was generally considered to be the golden age of pen names for writers. And William Shakespeare was a pen name. It's as clear as day, and Edward de Vere was the man who actually wrote the plays. So I highly recommend this for, for, for anyone who's interested in the authorship question. Whatever side of the issue you're on, it, you know, if you think that uh, people who believe that William Shakespeare did not write the plays are crackpots, at least you'll see why they're crackpots. Okay. Uh, Joseph Hughes, thank you for watching. If you like the video, like the video, more people will see it. Signing out.